Um, just talking about uh, previous bird walks that we've had, um, maybe some specific memorable ones, and, and I was thinking of the one, in fact, I was talking on the way in with Betsy about uh, the one last year, when it was, I think it was the January walk. I don't know if you noticed, but we just edited so we could go check a bird that was flying over here in the trees behind us. <laughs> Are we back on? Yeah, we're, we're that obsessed. Okay. So anyway, uh, we're discussing uh, previous bird walks that were rather memorable, and the one that comes to mind most recently is the January walk, not from this past winter, but two winters ago. I believe it was the January walk, and it was minus one when we started. And not surprisingly, nobody showed up except the three, three of, of us. us. <laughs> and uh, so I remember standing in the parking lot with pins and needles on my face from the cold, and I'm thinking, there's no way this is going to happen. We're not going anywhere. And uh, so it was one of those situations where we basically said, okay, we're going to walk so far, and if we're still alive, we'll continue on with the walk. <laughs> And that's what we did, kind of a thousand feet at a time type of situation. We ended up doing the entire walk. It took us a couple hours. And uh, it turned out to not be such a bad day as far as birding. Had a, and it was rather kind of a, uh, an attrition type thing to see if we could really do it. And uh, also to obviously give some grief to birds. <laughs> Those and who didn't the up, come. The upcoming months <laughs> to let them know that... Uh, you know, wimps. Yeah, wimps. get out of bed and join us next time. But we uh, we had a really good day. Um, Did we see the fox? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, we, we saw fox. Yeah, we had a, a great fox view of a fox that was right. kind of following us up along the ridge line. It was up, and it was obviously in its winter coat, all puffed up. Huge, mm-hmm. big fox. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so that was one of the memorable walks. Yeah. The, the point there too is that we lead walks every second Saturday of the month. Regardless of the weather, we're out here, sunshine, rain, cold, winter, and, and I, and I'm sure they do, still enjoy it. We have no problem with the weather. Um, it's a reason to tell my wife I've got to get out of the house and go, and she's, aren't you going to be cold? I go, my, I have winter clothes. I've got enough. And someone said it's never bad weather, it's just you're not prepared enough. Right. Bad, bad clothing. Bad clothing, right. not bad weather. That's what I tell my wife. So, uh, again, <laughs> it, it's a year-round activity for us, um, relatively inexpensive. Once you have your gear, there's just getting to where you have to go. You can bird anywhere, everywhere. Um, Ken just went up to Alaska and was talking about birds. So wherever you go, there are birding uh, activities. In fact, when we go on vacation, I tell my wife, my binoculars go in the car before you do. <laughs> so, <laughs> obviously, humor. Um, if she understands that. But again, it's something we can do all the time, and I do it all the time. In fact, I came down here an hour before this interview to, to walk around to see what's out there. Bill's, Bill's hardcore. I'm hardcore. He, yeah, yeah I, I like birding, but Bill loves birding. I'm hardcore. And, uh, yeah, every waking moment, if he could, he'd be out birding. I know that. Almost much. every yeah. waking moment. Uh, I'm not quite at that point, but it, it is something I, I enjoy very much. And, and really, when I think of it, it's funny, kind of like what you were saying about uh, getting out of bed with the weather. You know, to get out of bed to do really anything in the morning sometimes for me is a chore, especially <laughs> getting up for work (laughs) but but we'll go to McGee Marsh in the spring and I have to be up at four in the morning to meet people at 5 30 to get out there at seven and I jump out of bed like it's you know the first day of vacation and right I I can't wait we we enjoy it yeah so it's amazing I mean if you enjoy something you know it's not a problem getting out of bed early to go do it and we go till four or five six o'clock at night too before we come home yeah, yeah the Marsh drive. trips are all day things. Long it's day. Uh, yeah. and uh, it's and something we've been doing for a long time as well. Not not thirty years, but 10, 12, 12, 15 years. Fifteen old, years. I think. Yeah. And we still love it. We still enjoy it. We can't wait till May comes around. Right. Yeah. We all, you know, we all start talking around you know mid April. Okay, can you get this Friday off? Yep. Can you get this Friday off? And uh, we'll uh, usually get a carload of people. Not just Bill and I, but. Um, Several other yeah, depending core on who can all make it. Yeah. yeah, and and uh, this past year, yeah, the second walk was the first walk was, wasn't that great as I recall, no, but the second one was, was okay. Day. But it's always a good time, and and the drive up is half the fun. fun. Yeah, it <laughs> is. It's enjoyable. Yeah, and the people we meet up there, you'd be surprised how many local residents we see up there for an hour and a half drive um, mm-hmm. west of here. 
So it's not just us. There's a lot of other people who enjoy birding. You know, I, I remember another uh, bird walk during bad weather, birding in bad weather, I guess we could call it. <laughs> uh, it was actually during the uh, Sunday morning spring walks, um, and it was a just a horrible morning. It rained, and I think it even snowed a little bit. And, uh, again, it was just the leaders that showed up. Um, Carol Britt, I think, was also okay. there at the time, although Pete and Mary weren't. Oh. <laughs> But uh, but we went on the on the walk and again had a surprisingly good morning. In fact, the uh, uh, the, the highlight of the morning and something that we uh, told folks about for weeks to come was the uh, the bitter. Remember that oh, American bitter? Yes. And yep. uh, we had, we all got a really really good look at it in, in the rain. But, in the uh, rain. It, it yep. was right there. And, yeah. Um, again, sorry that others missed yeah. it, but uh, we had a great time. Yep. Weather doesn't bother us. Just like Ken said, you just have to be prepared for it. So we enjoy it. 